good to go. So um, in case you missed it, my name is Ryan Polaro, and it's an honor to be here today representing Trent University as a keynote speaker. Before I get started, a little bit about myself. I'm a Trent alumni who graduated with a biology major and a chemistry minor. And over the course of my four years here, I was lucky enough to partake in the Trent experience firsthand and partook in multiple activities such as O-weekly, student cabinet, and intramural sports. When thinking about what I was gonna talk about today, I had to think about what I wanna know going into my first year of university. I wanted to give uh, tips and tricks on the insides of Trent, kind of like a <clears throat> Ned's the Classified School Survival Guide. These would include tips like, don't spend all your money at Starbucks in your first year, and never book an 8 a.m. class. I learned that one the hard way. However, I thought I would try and explain the most important tip I learned from my time here at Trent. I don't know if you're like me, but I remember being so nervous my first week of attending university. I was also so excited. Finally, I can move away, live with a bunch of friends, and buy all the craft dinner I ever wanted, but I was still so nervous. I went into university with the wrong idea that it was impossible to make new friends, and it would be uncool if I partook in any extra activities. So, for the first two weeks of my university, I stayed in my room with friends from high school, and I barely partook in any O-week events. Now, uh, don't listen to that, Amelia, but I definitely would not suggest that, as this is one of my biggest regrets over my four years here at Trent. This is partly the reason I became so involved with Orientation Week, becoming a leader and facilitator in my future years. I quickly decided that I didn't want this to be my university experience, and I joined an intramural dodgeball team with people I barely knew. This one action led me to change the way I view my Trent experience, and I wanted to partake in as much as I can. After that, I joined a bunch of intramural teams, became part of student cabinet, and it now has led me to my current job as an enrollment advisor for Trent. These interactions taught me, although it can be scary, I should always try and view the positives in every opportunity. Before I continue, I'm just curious, how many of you have heard the TED Talk on lollipop moments by Drew Dudley? You can raise your hand or use the uh, raise hand feature. If you haven't heard of it, that's okay. I'm gonna give a quick summary. So it talks about a girl who is nervous to attend university, but goes to her first day orient orientation despite not wanting to go. On her first day, Drew, the speaker of the TED Talk, gives a lollipop to a guy standing next to her in line and tells the guy to give the lollipop to her. The girl later goes on to explain that this was the moment that she felt she could attend university and that she is now marrying the guy that gave her the lollipop. The whole talk is on leadership and how there are moments on life where you can be a leader and not even know it. In fact, a lollipop moment can be defined as a moment where someone said or did something that made your life better. Now, I think this talk is amazing. And if you haven't heard it, I'm sure you will at one point in your training career. However, I feel like there's one key aspect that people often miss in the meaning of the talk. It's easy to hear the story and give Drew all the credit, as he's the one who initially gives the lollipop, leading to all the chain of events. However, I would argue the girl is the true hero in the story and made the hardest decision that day. From the moment she woke up, she had to make a choice. Choose to listen to the thoughts telling her she's not good enough for university or force herself to attend her first day orientation. See, every day we're faced with decisions where we initially don't want to do something for whichever reason we decide to make up. Thoughts like, I shouldn't try out for a rowing team because I'm probably the worst, and if I don't make it, I'll feel bad. Or, I probably shouldn't be the first one to talk in case I say something stupid and embarrass myself. It's these thoughts that often stop ourselves when we're trying to do a new opportunity. Thinking back to the, new, uh, the lollipop moment, let's say the girl decides to listen to these thoughts and stays home her first day of orientation. She may never have found the courage to go to university, and she probably never met her future husband in the story. Look at how her one decision impacts other people's lives for the better as well. If she did not decide to go, Drew, the speaker of the TED Talk, would never have a chance to share a story. I would argue when you're faced with an opportunity that sparks your interest, but you're having those thoughts telling you not to partake, at least try. Try out for that sports team you're debating in your head. If you don't make it, at least you would have met new people. Join that club you're interested in. Worst comes to worst, you don't like it and you try another one. One thing I can almost promise that you'll hear during your time here at Trent is people saying to you, enjoy it while it lasts, because before you know it, it's over. I now know this is true, and four years goes uh, fast. This means you should make the most out of every situation. I bet a lot of you have already made that tough decision with yourself to partake in different activities and meet new people. All I ask is you continue this trend and, and try to achieve the most of your time here at Trent. Trent has so much to offer too, whether it be working a campus job like Starbucks or at the athletic center, becoming an O-week leader in your future years, or even joining the Magic the Gathering Club, make sure to try it all. Before I end my speech, I just want to say, I know last year has been a bit hard and it can make these choices even harder. 
Now you're faced with a lot of opportunities that are online, and it can make it even easier to convince yourself not to partake in them. In saying this, I think most of you should be proud of yourselves already for being a part of Bring It On and taking opportunities to meet new students. You're the reason I'm proud to call myself a Trent alumni, and I want to thank you for putting yourself out there. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk today, and I wish you all the luck in your future at Trent. That was amazing, Ryan. How am I supposed to follow up with that? How am I supposed to follow You're up? You're going to kill it. You're going to do. That was fantastic. Ryan always speaks so eloquently and insightfully, and I even appreciate so much being able to listen to fellow alumni and student leaders and all of you today. I'm just, it's such a privileged opportunity to be able to hear who the incoming students are and listening to, to previous people who have attended Trent at it. Just such a full circle feeling. That was awesome, Ryan. You're going to kill it, Rachel. You're going to. Thanks. <laughs> so, I kind of already introduced myself, but I'll get into that a little more as I go. Um, so first and foremost, I hope you're hyped. I hope the nerves you're feeling are simultaneously overcome with reminding yourself that you have a place at Trent and you are very worthy of being part of the Trent Excalibur family. I hope you listen to the words myself and Ryan have for you, the words Amelia has had for you, the words that all of the orientation staff have had for you, um, because we're gonna be part of your family. And that's what's pretty cool about Trent. You do really become part of this community and um, absorb everything we say as best as you can. And we, try, we will try not to bore you, so be patient. And welcome to Trent University, everybody. So again, I'll tell you about me just because I, I have to, I just have to. Um, so I completed my honors Bachelor of Arts in International Development Studies with an emphasis of law and policy in 2020, the year that we don't have to talk about. Um, and I was accepted to the University of Windsor Faculty of Law quite soon after, so I'm very excited about that. Um, my journey through Trent, um, without the opportunities I had throughout that experience, I wouldn't have made it to law school. Um, and I stand by that because, you know, extracurricular involvement really does help form who you are. So I completely agree with Brian and, and all he has said with involvement and taking risks and doing things that you're interested in 100%. So, um, Getting involved at Trent is something I will always promote. I found lifelong friends at this university through my involvement and connections, and I can only wish the same for all of you. Everyone is coming into this experience with something different. None of you have experienced the exact same life path or anything. And my experience at Trent was a lot of student government, a lot of orientation, which I would never trade, a lot of hanging out with my friends, themed birthday parties and friendsgivings, unquestioning yeses to a lot of late nights out before my 8 a.m.s the next day, but don't tell my professors that. They would never know anyway. And I would never change it. I would never change it. Even balancing all of that with a lot of late nights at the library, I wouldn't change any of it. And I hope you all have the same experience. I hope you reflect on your time here in four, five, six, or however many years it takes you to do this degree. I hope you reflect and don't have any regrets. But that's enough about me because today this is about you. Understand that you're going to change throughout your time here. Who you are in your essence and person at your core is probably going to remain, but you will experience so much growth in your time at Trent. So many of you are coming here either alone or knowing a couple students, maybe with your best friends, but regardless, you will experience growth. This is your time to completely and fully allow yourself to experience everything you can within your boundaries and a couple safe risks too. You're entering university at a time where the world has experienced and is continuing to experience so much. And we know this isn't gonna be an easy journey, but holy, will it be a journey? And that's why I say you'll grow and it's okay to be worried about where that growth will go or question if what you're doing is right or comfortable or okay for you. But if you're questioning this, it means you care. So be open to change, be open to the journey, and don't lose your essence along the way. Just let yourself move into that new version of who you're meant to be. Next, as part of that, you don't have to fit a mold. This kind of goes along with what Ryan said, like you don't have to go into university trying to be somebody or, or following anyone else's expectations for yourself, not even your own. You'll come into university expecting so many things to pan out certain ways, and sometimes they will, but Sometimes for the better, they won't. When I entered my first year, I had a plan for everything, every single thing under the sun that could have happened. And as I've gotten older and only slightly wiser, 
I've learned you physically can't plan for everything. It's just a reality. And I'm not telling you to avoid planning. I'm just telling you to try to be flexible where you can be non-negotiable on yourself and your passions, but see where this journey takes you. And that brings me to my third point. And this is one that took me a while to learn. This degree is yours and nobody else's. Regardless of any external influence on your education, this is for you. Try your best to go to class, but prioritize your mental health and wellness and try to stay on top of things as best as you can. Your professors are not the enemy. Your TAs are not the enemy. Um, email them at 2 a.m. if you need to, because you'll be very surprised that a lot of them are going to answer you. <laughs> and don't miss classes where there's attendance marks if you can help it, because those are free GPA boosters. So those are my tips about school, but the biggest tip I can give about school generally is your grades don't define you. Trust me, the hardest part about coming into university for me, and I think for many students, is the expectations you have for yourself, or again, external folks or, or feelings may have for you. But again, this is your degree. The only pressure you experience should be and will be from you. And sometimes that's okay. It's good to have self-motivation and it's definitely good to stay on top of things. But please know that it is very healthy and very good to have social time, to get involved in clubs, or give yourself an hour a day to watch a show you really like. Definitely find a way to work in whatever your jam is into your schedule and try your best to practice some self-care in there. And remember, you're not just becoming part of Trent, but part of the entire Peterborough community or Durham if you're attending Durham, but put that in there. Um, I've never been to Durham, but I'd love to go. Respect your community members, regardless of where you are. Support local business and get to know them. These, these, honestly, these people really benefit from you being there and, and love to hear from Trent students about how they're doing because, you know, this is a cycle. If you're part of Trent, you're part of Peterborough and all of them are part of your experience too. Head of the Trent that I really hope you get to experience is so many people from the community, whether that be Trent, Peterborough or beyond attending campus. So just know it's not just Trent, it's so much bigger than that. And the, the big part you'll come to realize is you start to care a heck of a lot about not just Trent, but also Peterborough, because you'll find those spots like Whistlestock downtown, where you get your poutine late at night, um, Al Camino's, where you get burritos. Um, Revelstoke has the best vegan cinnamon buns I've ever had. There's so many spots you're going to discover that you start to realize it's not just Trent that's part of your experience, but all of Peterborough too. And I know this is a lot, like this whole weekend has probably been a lot for, for some of you, and that's okay. I just wanted to speak today from the perspective of encouraging you all to come into this experience open-minded and prepared, as prepared as you can be. I don't know if you can actually ever prepare as, you know, as much as possible for this exciting and confusing and life-changing experience you're going to have, but at least you know little of what to expect from myself and Ryan and the other folks you've spoken to throughout the weekend. So go ahead and do new things, respect your boundaries and safety, and always remember this is your journey. I hope when you're finished this journey, you know you will always have a home at Trend, but for now, good luck, and I wish you all the best.